Shaymian, the Lord of Rahul Hadish, your heart, our Lord of Shari, or Amin, the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amin. Rick Safro, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to thank our Heavenly Father for His blessing upon all of us, and I thank Him for His love who gathered all of us this morning in His house as one family brothers and sisters and there is fatherhood we ask him to bless and to continue blessing every and each one of us especially that two days ago which was 14 of september the church was celebrating the feast of the discovering of the holy cross actually this uh, feast in our church, we have big celebration for it in the whole churches because we know through the cross, we all have now opportunity to go to heaven. Not because the cross itself, but because when Jesus put himself on the cross and died, made this sign, which is the sign of the cross, sign of victory and now we decorate our homes our churches even ourselves we feel proud when we have a cross and not only that we actually feel that we are protected because the power of the cross can protecting us i will tell you a true story i heard it when i was serving in egypt one of uh, our girls and she was teacher in the sunday school and she had a final test and in egypt the minute that anyone know that you are a christian he will deal with you differently kind of persecuting so this girl she went to the test and that test was an interview it was oral not written test so the teacher she told me saw the cross in her neck and she began to wanting her make fun of her and she said i knew right away that he won't let me pass this class and then she was answering but he was so angry he said listen no matter what you do, what you answer, I won't let you as this class. Let the cross that you have protect you and make you pass this uh, semester. But she said the cross has nothing to do with the teaching. Why you don't uh, give me credit according to what I studied? He said, if you believe in your cross, I will give you actually grade according to how much cross you have. She began to laugh. She said, are you serious? He said, yeah, of course. Show me how many cross you have. And this girl, she was a teacher, as I just mentioned, the Sunday school. And she went to the uh, Christian store a couple of days ago, and she bought a big bag of cross, small crosses, to give to her children. So after she made deal with him, she said, are you sure? He said, yeah, of course, let the cross now uh, actually bless you and make you pass this class. Then she put her hand in her purse and she had crosses like this, over 200 cross. She made, put them at the table. She said, go count the cross and give me up to each cross one grade. And she said, I had 100% of a grade. So this story tells us how much the cross actually has blessing in our life if we really carry him, carry the cross in all our faith. We know the story that happened in the fourth century that Helen, the mother of the emperor uh, Constantine, she was a daughter of uh, a Syrian. Syriac priest from Urfa, from uh, Odessa at that time, 
She had actually a wish that she can find the cross one day. So she had that desire. And after she was, of course, teaching her son, the emperor, how to become a Christian, until one day the cross actually was on heaven. He was actually going to fight against one of the enemy. And he saw the cross in the sky. And he saw also in this he will conquer. And he decided that day that if he will conquer, he will become Christian and he will actually make the Christian the official religion of his emperor. So after that, he conquered and he decided to become Christian. So after that, his mom decided to look for the cross because she had faith that the sign that was actually a curse in the Old Testament become a sign of a victory in the New Testament. So she came from Rome all the way to Jerusalem and she was seeking, looking for the cross. And I think her desire, her love to find things that belong to Jesus and Jesus' blood was over that cross, that was the biggest blessing she can ever find. And I think if we look to this queen, Helen, and how much she had desire to find that cross, we can understand that every one of us, if he has desire to find Jesus in his life, he has to work very hard. It takes her a lot of time. It takes her a lot of money, a lot of effort. But she was insisting to find that cross knowing that by that cross, she can actually find something belong to Jesus personally. And now the question that actually I want to ask, how much we put effort, uh, time, money, to find Jesus in our heart? She went to Jerusalem and they were digging in a small hill until they found that cross. But do we really have that desire to work hard so we can find Jesus in our heart? We all, by being baptized, we know that we receive Jesus. And we all know that Jesus dwells in our hearts. But knowing that this fact is something, but living accordingly is something else. So I think the blessing of this feast, the feast of the Holy Cross, is we can find Jesus in our heart. So we can make Jesus number one. Like Helen, the queen, when she found the cross, she raised the cross, and since then, all the churches, they had the cross over their doom. Same thing, do we really have the cross over our everything in our life? Or I have me, I have my financial situation, I have my good looking, I have my vacation, I have a lot of things, my desires, and then I am a Christian, I have Jesus also. One of the things, let me tell you, if Jesus is not number one, and the cross of Jesus, he is number one in your life and in our life all, I think we are deceiving ourselves. We try to dig, find the cross, but the full cross, you know, the queen, when they told her that the cross is under of this small hill. hill. So she decided to dig. When they were digging, they find actually three crosses. We know the story from the Bible, that Jesus was with him crucified, two thieves. So there was a three crosses. Mm -hmm. The story that we say according to our church, the mother of the emperor, she got actually angry and mad. And she said, what, which one is the right one? Then God prepared at that time, there was a young guy who passed away in Jerusalem. So the priests, the clergy, the deacons that they were with her at that time, 
They told him, let's pray and bring that dead young man and put it on the cross and pray that God will show us which one the right cross. According to our uh, tradition story, it says that when they put his body on the first cross, his body become black. And they knew that this is the thief that was on the left side when he said, if you are son of God, save yourself and save us. And then they took the body to the next cross and that body turned its color to normal color, like anybody's body's color. And they knew that this is the thief who was on the right side when he said, remember me in your kingdom. And then when they put him on the right cross, the cross that Jesus was crucified on, they say that this guy, he jumped alive. And they were all actually amazed and they praised the Lord for showing them what or which one is the right cross. And I think also we have a lot of bad habits. We have a lot of sins. We have a lot of bad desires. And these bad sins and desires sometimes they take us to death. Because the Bible says that the wage of the sin is a death. So let's take all these sin and put them on his hand. Not in anybody's hand, not on whatever we want to do. But let actually, while we are commemorating the Feast of the Holy Cross, put ourselves, our sins, and our worries, all the things that bother us in his hand and asking him to raise us from the spiritual death because we really need him and without the cross we cannot pass the cross like the father said become the bridge between this life and the eternal life but every one of us imagine you want to go to new york you have the bridge you have the tunnel there is no other way of course we can fly we can go by boat, but I'm talking normally. There is every bridge or town to go there. The same thing, if you want to go to heaven, there is only way through Jesus by the cross. So celebrating discovery or discovering the Holy Cross is not only commemoration we do, it, but it is actually a call for every and each one of us to take this sign seriously and to put it in his heart before you put it on your neck or in your actually uh, wall in your home. Let's actually ask God to make this cross a sign of a victory. Like the sentence, the quote that saw uh, Constantine on the sky when he saw the sign of the cross, he said, in this sign you will conquer the same thing today God is calling and telling every and each one of us if you want to conquer you have the cross your faith on Jesus who laid himself on the cross and by this sign he conquered the evil and the kingdom of the evil one also you can conquer in your life if you believe in him may God bless you all and I just want to mention a verse that really I like always to meditate in this verse when we talk about the cross when St. Paul was telling the people in Corinthia and telling them how proud we should be of this sign, sign of the cross when he said for the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing so a lot of people they take this sign as a fun we know now in China, as an example, which is a great country, almost everything we have here, maybe even our clothes is made in China, they decide to take this sign over any church. You know why? The, the, all the places, all the countries that they persecute Christian, very first thing, maybe you saw on TV, when they go to the church, the first thing they take the process and 
they threw it on the floor and they spit on it. You know why? Because the evil one will never before the cross or before the cross, the evil one he was always winning over the Christian, over anyone. But after the cross, this sign become a sign of his losing the great war against all the people. So if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in the cross, just make this sign and you will be protected. So you know now why all the people, they hate the cross, because the evil one cannot handle the view of the cross. He cannot see the cross everywhere, everywhere, because he knows very well that by this sign, he was actually conquered. The same thing St. Paul is saying, that this world, the world of the cross, for some people, it is actually like foolishness. What are you talking about? You still believe in the cross or why the cross? Because by the cross, Jesus conquered the kingdom of the evil. And also he continues saying, but it is the power of God to us who are being saved. So the power of the cross for all those people who believe in Jesus is given to every and each one of us free. All we need to open our heart to do like Helen, the queen, to dig deep in our heart and find Jesus. Not finding our desires, not finding our good things, but finding Him and then we raise Him over all our life. May God, by this feast, this commemoration, the commemoration of the Holy Cross, finding, discovering the Holy Cross, may God bless all your homes, all your kids, or your families, or your business, and be with you day and night. May God bless you, and remember, whenever you make this sign, sign of cross, you will conquer the evil one who try to put you in trouble and to temptate you. May God bless you all. Amen. I just would like 